What's up, universe? It's me, Tim. Just here practicing my. These are for sport. They are non bladed, and it's a dead tree. Never pick up a weapon and imagine using it. Always imagine the day you want to have. Right? Anyway, it's a beautiful day out here. Enjoying the sunset. That one was me. This is like so these are advertised as no stick or sorry, no spin. And this is the first day I've used them. So already two of them have the tips broken, right? And I was sticking them and it was sticking good. Right. But they still stick, dead, but yeah. It's fun, heavy and longer, but I don't know if they are no spin. I think these are spin. <laughs> Or you just have to be really skilled to shuck it. It might be there is no lightly tossing no spin. It might be if you want to rock it a no spin, you really have to put your all into it. You basically have to throw it faster than it's spinning. Basically. So, yeah, it can be a cannon up close. But making it a really effective long range away can be kind of challenging. These kunai are the little ones. These you can get on Amazon. They're great for like pizza boxes. Yeah, the blade will devastate someone who's not used to how sharp metal can be, but it's pretty weak metal, it is. They snap, I have a bunch of broken ones. So anyway, getting this to stick, if you can throw, this is my challenge, if you can kunai launch these, you have to do it like, I think seven feet is the beginning of like too far. And if you can do it 10 feet away, 10 feet away or maybe two body lengths yeah that that'd be the kunai challenge can you stick this no spin two body lengths away if you can i want to see that i do probably all the people who can do it are like i didn't know <laughs> but that would be the real itachi so yeah no spin throwing, they're right. Like I see them do this, they go like this. That's the right motion, yeah. That puts a lot of energy, not with these. Because these are so heavy, all the energy is in overhead. And when I snap it down, I miss. It's definitely gonna be a flip. But the method and why I came over and wanted to share how I throw these is a little bit of this, okay? So, what you're doing is you're guiding the path with your fingers because it lets you feel where the tip is. And what you want to do is you want to imagine your tip going into the wood. And when you imagine the tip going into the wood, it signals the universe you're really going to do it this time. It's like you can imagine a problem and get more of the problem all day. Or you can imagine, it's really true, that it, like you... I've been focused on existential things that are my business. It's really Buddha business and religious scripture is people who can do like miracles. It is kind of their business. So I've been focused on that, but it's been in a realm I figure is more litigious than anything. It's important, but definitely dry. And it's not all of who I am. I certainly like, I've talked a lot about the C word. I certainly don't want to live my whole life talking about it. I certainly even hope to one day have like a fully repaired, you know what I mean? It's just happened to too many billions to stop saying, like, you're doing it to babies? Did you not? Did you not do that to babies? Could we not be those people, please? Like, I don't want to be like, look who ate all the cows and castrated everybody. Oh, everything's running. 
you know, it works like that. It does. I can't find Sasquatch. He knows you're there. He's just like. Yeah, how to manifest a reality field or how to do supreme reality control. It's all about the integration of imagination with supreme source consciousness. Yeah, every, this is my secret is that it looks like I care about the things I care about, but I'm really just a honeypot trap for people who are on that slide. And then I go right into the, the uptake ne nexus again. Yeah, which is just like, usually your life path. So, yeah, I am a person you'll meet, but usually once. This is enough. I have a huge transformation rate where people meet me and then they change their identities immediately afterward. Like, for real. Like, I have a huge... Like, I just see it a lot. So. Yeah, I am a good transformer. As you know by my art, I can transform and I can wing it with anything. And it's real. It's me winging it. And it comes out that way. That was so weak. Uh, it works as it does. Yeah. This must be fun. I hope he's dead. I really do. He's not like crying. Like, this is the end. It's so horrible. <laughs> Maybe you're born as like a dragonfly or whatever. Whatever trees are into. Trees probably think birds are cool. You could probably go from bird to tree over and over and right? Deeper. That's why those birds care so much. Oh, this is funny. I've been wanting to share this for a while. Uh, I used to shoot eggs, and birds will actually cry when you shoot eggs. Yeah, they'll like in a tree, and they have like a bird morning. <laughs> this, is, this is funny. Oh, I heard it. Yeah. I have a few spirits, and I have a few followers. I do. I have people who like curtain tail on me, which I don't really mind. I also have people who repost my stuff on their channels, which I also don't mind. Because it's a little bit of protection for me. I really am in the, as an artist, I'm in the belief that what I have to give is important for people. And it, it's about me in the percentage of the population I am, which is one person. <laughs> and the rest is about everyone else. So yeah, my art I find interesting. I find the things that come out in addition, which are there. I pause and I move my camera and I look and the shape is obviously there to detail. You know, it's golden ratio. It's also aided something. They have to want you to be able to do that, right? I'm very angelic. I am an extremely good person, and I am totally aware of what the darkness is on this planet. So, yeah, I definitely do Buddha work, light and dark wings. I've got both. Yeah. God comes to me for with his problems. Just kidding. Don't fucking circumcise your kids. Yeah. yeah a lot of people get circumcised. There's just so much competition in male breeding, and to me, like, the... Uh, Divinity is just the male fucking, uh, it's the male sex drive, which he has to do. See, the, the conundrum with a man is what he has to do to live. It doesn't have to be universal truth or even moral. So the conundrum is in thinking people is what do we do with our time and what are we about? And my art is a stern challenge of most of that. It costs almost no crayon. I, I literally asked the universe for it. I was like, give me something that only gives. Give me something that never... Uh, <laughs> that never um, requires anything. And it was that. It was the crayon. It was pick up a crayon. <laughs> it's pretty funny. So I'm sure all of it, maybe there's like level 99 super wizard. You're like, oh, of course, circumcision. That makes total sense. But for me, it's like you're just touching babies with knives there. What dark lord thought of that? I really mean that. It's really like, whoa. Yeah, and all the Bible's coming up printers. Who would be into that? People who like girls. Who likes girls? Literally every man who's ever been. How much do men like girls? Like, insane. Men like girls to the point that they're literally fucking crazy right people go from freaking womb to womb babies immediately look for girlfriends to make a copy of themselves and spread their love right and we're so reserved about it because that costs food time and money and attention we don't necessarily have a million hours sitting around to get to know absolutely freaking everybody and people who don't get enough of the main things of life turn to horrible things because they hurt and so there's a huge conundrum is that you have to make people purposely that you care about and do it well. 
you know, this get rid of them is like another circumcision. Go be a chaos monkey someplace else is rather effective, but it, to me it has those strokes of evil to it. I, I praise Dennis, the guy who taught me how to speed paint. Marvelous man. Has everything, to my mind. But he was circumcised, and he hated his parents for it. And it was funny, he built a house on top of theirs. <laughs> but he built a house on top of theirs and had, like, free range to cuss them out all day. <laughs> He's the guy who taught me how to speed paint. Yeah, it was funny. I'm not gay, but there's just some people you just meet, and it's like meeting an angel or someone from, like, a dream, you know what I mean? And it's like, you, you've always known them, and you were just closer than close, like, like an angel. It really was like an angel. It was awesome. But it was ten years until I started speed painting. It's real. It's all real. I can do it with a needle, too. I can do it with, uh, tattoos. They're speed painting tattoos all over the internet. You'll see them if they, uh, if the, they're moving and they're shimmering. That's a speed painting. Yeah. Um, and I don't really finish them to that point. Yeah, what I do is I, I'm like playing in a shadow box world. I play in a, a very a space that's very easy to shift quickly. And it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun to do. But uh, yeah, how to do HTSP. It's like writing a skateboard that dries itself. It is. And it's not AI. It's not a computer. It's to the page. But you have to feel it. And there is something inside of it. It's just like how you walk forward. Or just like how you can go like this. You know, like this. You know, those things you get to be paint just like that. You know, squirrels and chipmunks, they climb up trees. A squirrel or a chipmunk will make a hundred moves in like five seconds, right? Just, poof, I got out of my batteries, but, right? So I was like, why can't I do that? And I could, and so can you. I heard, I, I've seen five-year-old speed paint. Trust me, I'm not telling you I'm the best, except when I'm being funny, because I've seen, I got this Rasta bird. I do, I've got this red, yellow, and green rasta bird <laughs> okay probably a spy for somebody yeah there's all sorts of talented people all sorts of skills eagle warriors all that stuff yeah spirit i made great arrangements with the uh i i, I asked ticks and spiders not to bother me and two days in a row i found a dead not a dead but like a crater like it had hit with like an impact force like a meteor like a meteor strike it was the meteor I found crater to my eye. I could sit there and stare at it and manipulate it, and it's just there. A tick and a spider behind my car. Yeah. In a crater. Just in the very center. So interesting. And I've never had a problem with them ever since. Yeah, all I did is I formally said, hey, I respect you. May you have your best lives you can have, but don't bother me. I don't ever want to, like, get the oogie boogie or anything weird. And they, honestly, the spirit that controls them was like, that was so dignified and clear and they did it. And to this day, it's been really solid. It's been a really good agreement. So I don't mind. Um, they do want, like, public respect. Spiders are cool. They're cool, but I know what goes on here. You know, eat world, do you got to accept it, or do you got to change it? I think the truth is everything runs, and I think if you don't feel pain, either not feeling pain is the point, or feeling pain is the point. Because feeling pain will make you kind. It'll make you do things like hug. It's like, you want to hurt them? No! I got cut with a knife once when I was a kid. I won't do that to anyone ever again. Yep, nicest person ever. That's actually rather effective. But if you go, I'm painless, then you have all the people who are like th shoving things through their bodies. But if it gets good, then they're actually like gods. They like stick their hand through their heart and move it. Yeah, all sorts of cool stuff can go on. So, there's all sorts of secrets. Yeah. Or it's just high people, beware. Alright, I've given you tons of warnings. Please don't uh, fall for them with me, too. So, 